Avalanche Software is developing an open-world RPG video game set in the Harry Potter universe. Our first look at the game came in the form of leaked gameplay in 2018, and since then fans have speculated about all the details for the upcoming game. So let's break down everything we know about the upcoming Harry Potter open-world RPG game, including the release date, leaks, and gameplay details. As always, all the links to the sources will be posted in the description below, so make sure to check those out and support the original articles. And with that out of the way, let's get into everything we know about this upcoming Harry Potter game. Let's start with the original leak, which happened in October of 2018. With the title on Reddit, Unannounced Harry Potter RPG has killing and unforgivable spells. They also included a trailer and a press release for the game and a little bit of description on how they got all this information. The original account that leaked the details said he was approached in a mall and was asked to watch a trailer and give feedback for this upcoming project, and he was given $8. They never took his phone, so he was able to record the trailer, and he later uploaded it and showed it on Reddit, which was an upcoming Harry Potter game. The trailer itself is a big mix of different shots, with combat, different shots of Hogwarts, character creation, creatures, and so much more. A few notable things in the trailer we see character customization with different genders, body type, face, hair, eye customization, and potentially even freckles, scars, and facial markings. There's also a sorting hat logo which is most likely where you choose your house. And more speculation is it's assumed you'll get to choose your own pet as well such as an owl and go even in further customization that we didn't see in this trailer. Now the game is third person but you can zoom and aim spells and we are able to switch two different sets of spells. In the trailer, we see a utility set, and then they switch to a combat set when they start fighting. So just another cool gameplay thing that they didn't notice. It's assumed that the game will be completely single player, but open world, and we will be able to explore Hogwarts and the surrounding areas. We will also get to attend class, learn spells, encounter creatures, explore dungeons, and have boss fights. In some of the gameplay, we also see that you're able to dodge spells and choose which path we want to follow in the game, if we want to be good or bad, depending on the choices we make and casting unforgivable spells. So it seems that this game, even at this point in development, was already very deep, and the developers had a good sense of what players wanted and what lore they wanted to see fleshed out and why people love the world of Harry Potter so much. We still aren't completely sure on how the game will decide if we're good and bad, Speculation is, as I said, depending on choices and unforgivable spells, but either way, it could also be with side missions or missions or which houses we tend to side with. We also aren't sure if there will be items in-game, other magical abilities, and at the time we weren't sure what systems this game would be released on. Then if we go to the actual press release, it said, quote, Set in the 19th century, which is the 1800s, Wizarding World, this third-person open-world action RPG game centers around your character with unique abilities who has earned a late acceptance to Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. You are a newly arrived fifth-year student to Hogwarts that demonstrates a latent gift for magic with a unique ability to track and identify remnants of potent ancient power. Upon arrival, strange events begin to materialize in the Forbidden Forest, and trouble begins to brew within the castle walls. Together with Professor Elazar Fig, you embark on a journey through both familiar and never-before-seen locations to bring to light the truth behind these mysterious occurrences. On your quest, you will craft potions, master new spells, and discover fantastical beasts. You will battle dark wizards, goblins, and other supernatural enemies, and uncover the truth about your destiny. The fate of the wizarding world lies in your hands. A few other details that were given in this thread but weren't in that release said that we will journey to Hogwarts and become one of eight wizard types. We aren't sure what exactly that means, if it just means good or bad, and then each of the houses, so Hufflepuff, good or bad, Ravenclaw, good or bad, Gryffindor, good or bad, Slytherin, good or bad. It also says, experience Hogwarts, make new friends, uncover new secrets, and change the fate of the wizarding world. Experience a new magic system that creates countless possibilities to master magic. It says, freely explore the wizarding world for the first time. It goes on to say, choose your house and your friends at Hogwarts and decide to pursue a path of good or evil. 
And finally says create your own Witcher wizard and experience an all new story separate from the books or films. So just some more information, we will get to choose a house, there will be different wizard types, different types of spells that we can combine to hopefully do powerful attacks or to build or create, so a lot of options there. And it says this story is separate from the books or films, so we aren't sure if we will see any crossover or if it will be completely separate and they won't touch on it at all. So obviously this is a ton of information and a lot of fans were cautious but excited and it did not take long for the news to be seemingly confirmed. All the game leaks, recordings, gifts, and anything else featured about the game was being taken down by Warner Bros. Entertainment and claimed for copyright. And if that wasn't enough, fans started speculating on which studio was working on the new game and were able to narrow it down to Avalanche Software. Not to be confused with Avalanche Studios, which is a completely different gaming studio that had worked on Mad Max and Rage 2. Avalanche Software, on the other hand, is owned by Warner Bros. and has been owned by them since 2017. They were previously owned by Disney, so they worked on Disney Infinity and all those games, along with a lot of game tie-ins for Disney movies. But obviously in 2017, they were bought by Warner Bros. And the studio has been very quiet since then and hasn't released anything they've been working on since the purchase. So that alone, fans thought it made sense. In 2018, it was a year after they've been purchased, so they've been working on the game for almost two years and started to show it off. And then fans looked even further and found a job listing in 2017 that seemed to provide more evidence for a Harry Potter game. The first thing it asked for was a deep understanding of British culture and grammatical presentation, and gaming narrative and branching storytelling, particularly in the realm of RPGs. So right there, British culture doesn't necessarily mean Harry Potter, but it is a good indication, and then RPG seems to back it up. It also goes on to say Warner Bros. Games seeks a senior environment artist, unreal for the Avalanche Animation Department, are you an environmental artist that would like to be part of an exciting new AAA game project? They're also seeking a veteran designer with a passion and gift for planning, communicating, tracking, and fine-tuning reward, economy loops, and product narrative across many intricate game systems to compel players to play for more than just five minutes forever. So once again, it sounds like they're adding in features that they want this to be a game that fans consistently play. There's always a grind and something to chase. We aren't sure what that will be. It would be nice if there were items and something like that where there would be that grind. But who knows what they want and how they want us to keep playing if that will be dungeons or enemies or leveling up. One other piece of information came from Lizo Mazimba, who is a BBC reporter, and he claimed he had knowledge of the project when it leaked in October, and says that potential names for the title would be Harry Potter Magic Awakened or Magic Forever, and that other Harry Potter games are on the way as well. Now, a Harry Potter Magic Awakened game was released in 2020, but it's actually a mobile RPG card game and not this open world console game that we had leaked. So he wasn't necessarily wrong about the information and the upcoming game, but he just got his games mixed up. There was a Harry Potter Magic Awakened, it just wasn't this big open world console game. So I just wanted to mention this because I still see a lot of community members reference this as a title when it's not true, that game came out and it's not the same game. So fans were excited but not sure when to expect the game and were hoping that at any major gaming event they could see this game finally announced and get some more information. Unfortunately though, they would be waiting for a long time. We did not get any more news about the title until very recently in June of 2020 when notable gaming insider Jason Schreier wrote an article for Bloomberg about this upcoming Harry Potter RPG. Schreier confirms that the game Avalanche Software is working on is a big budget Harry Potter game and will be an open world game set in Hogwarts and the surrounding locations. He goes on to say that Harry Potter creator J.K. Rowling has very little direct or creative involvement on the project, even before the recent controversy. He confirms that the game is set to be released next year in 2021 for the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. And he also says the original plan for the game was it was supposed to be announced at E3 2020, but that was cancelled due to the global pandemic, and the marketing plan shifted and moved around, and the game will be revealed sometime after DC Fandom in August. So we shouldn't have too much longer to wait. 
anytime after August, so we have about a month until we get there. And then who knows what they'll want to show off, and they'll probably want to start moving if they want to release the game by next year. And the only other news that we have comes indirectly about the game. Warner Bros. is reportedly looking to sell the gaming division of their company, which would involve Avalanche Software. Many big publishers have been interested in buying their gaming division, such as Take-Two, EA, and Activision Blizzard. And if sold, it could potentially have an impact on the release of the game. Nothing is confirmed as of yet, but it is worth paying attention to if a sale is completed before the game is released, there could be a release date shift, or if they're going to continue to support the game with DLC or additional patches, that could change as well depending on the purchase and shift to different companies. And that is everything we know about the upcoming Harry Potter open world RPG. We do not have to wait too much longer for the game to be released, and it sounds like it will be a next generation only title. I'm excited to see how far the game has come since 2018, and the game even looked good in that original leak. And it sounds like Avalanche has handled the Harry Potter IP very well. And that's where I'm going to end this video. Make sure to like and share, subscribe for weekly gaming news, and I will see you guys in the next one.